Okay, so we are going to go over installation for Laser Trans Z, which is a program designed to reduce time resolved uranium lead data collected by laser ablation. The version we're going to go over uh, is designed uh, specifically to reduce data that was collected on a thermo ICAP RQ. Okay, so first things first, uh, we need to download Anaconda. Uh, Anaconda is going to install Python uh, as well as various packages and libraries. Uh, it's going to allow you to manage virtual environments, which we'll get to in just a second. Uh, yeah. So if you go to anaconda.com forward slash download, uh, you can come here, you can sign up if you want more emails, I guess, uh, or you can just hit skip registration. Um, and then go ahead and download the correct installer uh, for your system. Uh, I already have Anaconda installed, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, here you go. Okay, so once you're done with that, the next thing we need to do is install uh, this thing called the multifiler. Uh, so we're going to piggyback off a colleague, uh, Jordan Lovers. Uh, this was actually written to basically take all the data that comes off of a thermo ICAP RQ, which means, uh, or in that format it comes off, uh, every analysis comes off is its own CSV file. And this is going to go ahead and uh, take all those files and put them into one large file uh, to be uploaded. Uh, this will also work for LaserTram DB, uh, which is the uh, which is a program that Jordan wrote to reduce trace element data. So the installation uh, the installation is very similar to LaserTram Z, so I'm not going to go over it. Um, but you can go ahead and go to github.com slash jloversgeo slash multifiler and go ahead and install this in the same manner that we're going to install LaserTram Z. Okay, so once we have that done, uh, we can go to... Uh, my GitHub page, uh, just look for Lewis C2 Laser Tram Z or type in this address. Okay, and then if we come down here uh, to installation and use, uh, we see that we have this block here. And basically, we're going to go one by one, um, line by line, and install uh, uh, Laser Tram Z. So if you're on a Mac, Go ahead and open up a terminal. If you're on Windows, you're going to uh, need to open Anaconda and go open an Anaconda command prompt. Um, yep. And that should be relatively easy to find. It's at the top. Um, it's in the top row of applications when you open Anaconda. Okay, so now we're going to copy and paste this line, this git clone line. Uh, and I also mentioned you need to install Git as well. If you come to this GitHub page, um, go ahead and click this link and it'll take you to Git. So once you got that installed, uh, go ahead and paste that line. Oops. So uh, I actually have LaserTram Z installed, so I'm going to need to go to a different folder so that I don't overwrite that. So this is change directory documents. Okay, so now I'm going to clone. Uh, the files that are on this GitHub page into my documents, uh, which I've done already um, when testing this, but just to let you see it. Okay, that's it. Uh, now it's cloned. Um, so now we need to go into that uh, folder, and the way we're going to do that, and you know, for those of you that don't know, we're just navigating the directory right now. So in other words, we're in here in the documents and we're just going to change our directory to laser trans Z, right? So if you want to see all of your files, just type LS and that'll give you a list. There it is, laser trans Z. So we're going to change directory laser trans Z. Okay. And there's the files that are on the GitHub page, um, which you can see at the top. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create a virtual environment, which I mentioned earlier. This is just a way to 
have good version control of various Python libraries and packages. That way, if you update Python, you still have this virtual environment that hosts those same packages, but at, a, uh, at the version that you want them installed at in order to not have uh, any incompatibilities. Okay, so we're going to do conda create. So we're typing this line, or you can copy paste if you want. Um, dash n. I am going to do a laser tram z video uh, because I already have laser tram z installed, like I said. Then we're going to do python equals equals 3.9.17. Okay. So that will install. Hopefully, I can speed up this video. Okay, so when you get to this point, go ahead and type Y, enter. Okay, great. So uh, now uh, what we're going to do is we are going to activate that virtual environment. The way we're going to do that is we're going to say conda, activate, laser trans Z. Again, I added video. Now we're going to pip install dash r uh, local requirements dot text. And this is one of those files that uh, you cloned off the GitHub page. And it just has a bunch of, it specifies uh, versions of packages and libraries that we want to install in this virtual environment. So go ahead and type that uh, and press enter. Okay, great. So this uh, went ahead and installed. So now we're going to close out that terminal. I'm just going to quit that. Now we're going to open up the launch pad. Go ahead and find Anaconda Navigator. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now that we're in Anaconda Navigator, uh, we're gonna come over here to the left-hand side, go to our environments, Go ahead and click on Laser Trans Z video, or for you, it might just be Laser Trans Z. So it's loading all the packages. Okay, um, so now we're gonna go back to home. We're gonna scroll down until we find Spider and install. Okay, so now Spider is installed, so we're going to go ahead and launch this. Make sure that it'll open. The first time you launch this, it may uh, take a moment.
Okay, so uh, Spider is going to uh, connect to its kernel. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and close these so that I can show you how to navigate. Um, there is a multi-collector version of this program, which is uh, actually better. It runs better. Uh, there's a lot more to it. Um, so some shameless advertisement there, I guess. Um, okay. So now we're going to open and we're going to navigate through my files, which is a little, uh, you know, it is what it is. So go ahead and navigate to that folder and then go ahead and open. Okay. And here is the first part of the program, Laser Tram Z Quad Analyte. And then there is a second part of this as well. And we're going to go over both of these in the next two videos. Um, that completes installation.